hear what she has to say about open for inspections. We've heard that uh, open for inspections is so important in building a business, yet it doesn't seem to be high on your list of priorities. Why is that? A couple of reasons. Um, I'm a really firm believer that you should know when you start a negotiation who the person is. And whenever you do an open inspection, there's a good chance that a lot of people that come through you will have never met before. There's a chance that there'll be some that you've invited to that inspection if you're having one through your database, so on and so forth. But um, an open inspection to me is really a timing for the agent to be on show. I can't justify somebody opening their home and going to all that preparation just for me to be on show. There's, an, there's a couple of other elements to it as well. I noticed that if you advertise an open inspection at the start of the week, say Monday, on the internet sites, you won't get any inquiry all week long for it. So you have no way of knowing what the connection is, other than looking down on the page of your um, graph notes to see what the interest is like, to see if people are putting it in their diary and saying, I've, I've put that open inspection into my diary this week. So you're hoping that those people will come. Um, and it also says to me, to a buyer, that you'll only do business outside business hours. So I would prefer to be taking a couple of buyer appointments every day of the week at a convenient time that suits them, me and the owner, than saying to them, you can't see this property because we've got an open inspection this Saturday. It doesn't make any practical sense to me. So uh, I would rather um, have a scenario where one, I know where to negotiate from, I know who the people are, take the time and deal with the buyers uh, with a lot of respect when they're on the property and um, have the opportunity to speak to them one-on-one -on -one and say, is a property that interests you and do you want to buy it now?